to Dear Esther. My name is Mad Monticus, and I'm going to be playing this game today. I got it off the Humble Indie Bundle, number 8. Uh, I think it's still going on, but if it's not, you can get it on Steam for, or any other retailer for whatever price it is currently set at. So, let's get started. Uh, let's go to the lighthouse. Yes. Do 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 do. Let's load up the screen. Do 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 do. Let's load up the screen. Come on, 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 come on. Dear Esther, I sometimes feel as if I've given birth to this island. That must be somewhere painful. between the longitude and latitude. A split opened up, and it beached remotely here. No matter how hard I correlate. It remains a singularity, an alpha point in my life that refuses all hypothesis. I return each time leaving fresh markers that I hope, in the full glare of my hopelessness, will have blossomed into fresh insight in the interim. Oh, creepy. I don't know if I should be creeped out. I don't know if this is a scary game or not. Sounds kind of scary. I'm getting a spooky vibe from it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. He's a chemist. Or a biologist, whichever. I think, no, that's chemistry. Uh, what's that say? Certification of approval, electrical, electronic control, blah da, da da da. He played music. That's weird. It's like so. Warm. Whoa! Fuck me. Ew. He could have cleaned his fucking toilet. Not spooky in here? No? Okay. I assume I just walk around. I mean, I don't think I can interact with anything. In fact, hang on, let me check the controls. Um, swim up Q. Yep, nothing to pick up. Okay. Alright, let's keep going then. Oh, wait a minute. Two roads diverged on an island. I'm sorry I cannot travel both. Let's go up. I gotta say, this is a very pretty game in it's in it as so much as that it's more realistic ooh ooh can i jump nope no jumping so how do i get over there can i just walk yes i can no oh, fantastic no falling to my death donnelly reported the legend of the hermit a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide Ooh. him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts hmm. for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claim to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. I didn't see anything. That must be good. I did see a mouth of a cave over there. Can I continue... On this way, er, er, come on! No, I want to make it. No! Oh bugger! All right, let's.
let's keep walking, just keep walking, walking, walking. Hmm. Crab traps. Lots of crab traps, but no crab. That's a shame, because I'm kind of hungry. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh. There's a way up that way. Those islands in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time. Oh, Sleeping wow. giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. Is that Cthulhu? I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. Hmm. So he thinks those are old gods. Cthulhu for dog and... And look, that's where I fell. So we continue on. Aha. If I can, nope. Guess you just have to trek the way. Reading Donnelly by the bleak afternoon sunlight, he landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay, and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves, and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend. But then, he didn't have my reasons. What are your reasons, Mr. Person I am listening to? Hmm? What are your reasons? When someone had died or was dying, and was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. Hmm? You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection. And wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. Hmm. My lines are just for this. To keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. But of the mind. Ooh, what did you do, sir? What did you do? Walking, walking. What is this? Two roads diverged again. Hmm. Let's take the left path this time. Or maybe they're not paths, they're just a I giant quote field. directly. A motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. Hmm. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Ooh, a ship! Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Let's go look at the ship. God, I wish you could run in these games. The last two games I've played, you all you could do is walk around. Oh, but that's the that, oh, that's the cave that I saw from up there. Mm. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts oh. of Wolverhampton. Oh shit! I guess I'm stuck. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason, or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Oh. That's not... No, 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 oh shit, come on, go back up. Oh, fuck me, that is no... We are not going to sink. Nope. No sinking for me, thank you. That is creepy beyond words. No, no, no. Let me up. Let me go up. Let me go up. Let me go up. Let me go up. Come on. Come back. Come 
back. Yes, I want to come back. Aww. So I only get three chances? I'm going to swim out to that boat. Damn it. I just have to hold on to Q, right? Nope. Apparently I can't swim. Frack me. Dear Esther, I find myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. Ooh. We are woven into a sodden blanket, stuffed Ooh. into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean. My neck aches from staring up at the aerial. It mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. These are pretty. Someone's clothing and fish, moldy bread, and bones that don't look like fish bones. Uh, okay. Mm. Wait, is that it? Is there nothing else in the cave? Hmm. Oh well. Onwards and outwards, I suppose. Still, that is very pretty. I like that. And there's my little hole where I saw him. I wish I could swim. But apparently I can't swim very well. Oh, look. A path I did not see before. Very somber music. I don't know, maybe it's the somber music that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Let us continue on our adventure towards the red light. Probably that's where it's gonna end. He still maintains he wasn't drunk, but tired. I can't make the judgment or the distinction anymore. I was drunk when I landed here, and tired too. Mm. I walked up the cliff path in near darkness, and camped in the bay where the trawler lies beached. It was only at dawn that I saw the Bothy, and decided to make my temporary lodgings there. Ooh, Stonehenge. I was expecting just the aerial, and a transmitter stashed in a weatherproof box somewhere on the mount. It had an air of uneasy permanence to it. Like all the other buildings here, erosion seems to have evaded it completely. More chemical... signatures. I don't know what that one is. But, I have friends who do, but, can I go up that way? Let's try going that way. Come on, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go this way. Yes. Come on. No. 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 Frack. I guess I have to go that way. Glub, glub. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, going, going. Let's keep on going. Go, go. Let's keep on going, let's keep on going. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
Mm, jump. Oh. Oh, well, okay. End of part one, I guess? Okay, end of part one. Here comes part two!